Welcome back. Number seven in the country. Expectations are high. You know that. I know that. The Cyclones know that as well. Slow starts are a problem for ISU. Today, I, you and I gave them fits, but never really felt like the Cyclones were on the verge of losing today's game. Let's get right into it. Mark Farley and Matt Campbell with the pregame handshake. A lot of respect from the two for one another. The defense for ISU doing what they always do, getting after it, led by Will McDonald. Comes up with the sack on the first drive. Later in the first quarter, you and I striking first. Lincoln High grad Will McElvain in at quarterback finds Quan Hampton on the slant route. Shuts a couple tackles. House call, 52-yard touchdown for the Panthers, and they're on the board 7 to nothing. Cyclones looking to answer Brock Purdy on play action, looking deep, dropping it in to Xavier Hutchinson. Check out this diving acrobatic catch. That's a 39-yard connection, but the drive would flame out, and it's Connor Asali being called in for the field goal. 35 yards, good, 7-3. Second quarter, Iowa State with the ball again. Purdy hitting Brees Hall out in space. A little shimmy, a little shake. He picks up 10. Nifty little play there. Cyclones cap the drive as Hall going to plunge it into the end zone from a couple of yards out. This would make it 10-7 Iowa State. Hall with 60, 69 yards on the ground, 31 through the air. Iowa State took a 13-10 lead into the half after a couple of field goals were exchanged. Maybe not where people expected this one to be. Second half, really quiet. Actually, no scoring in the third quarter. So fourth quarter, Brock Purdy using his legs. Something Cyclone fans love to see. Nice little chunk picked off here. But a lot of offensive drives fizzling today for the Cyclones. As Hallie once again stepping in 20 yards out, 21 yards out. That's pretty good. No missed field goals, that's a plus as well. Northern Iowa with a chance to drive down and win this thing. 16-10 game. McIlvain back to pass, heaves it deep right to Daytron Young. That'll seal it up for the Cyclones. 16-10, not pretty, funny to address, but a win is a win, and the Cyclones know there's work to be done. What wasn't good, man, little things like the 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 touchdown comes on a you know a third down. We've got them sat, wrapped up for a sack. The slant got him tackled, and the guy makes a great play. You know, a couple offensive possessions. You're talking just a couple areas where you're a hair off on a couple little things. So, um, all things that, to be really honest with you, I think you expect in a first game. You know, I always think it's tough. You always want to end up with points. So I think you know, with the offense, as long as you end up with three or seven, you know, you got to consider that a good drive because then you know that you have the possibility of the next time uh, putting it in the end zone. Just sometimes getting in the red zone, you know. Um, you know, getting the false starts, which kind of, you know, backs us up and kind of stalls us out a little bit. Um, and then, you know, uh, on the goal line, you know, we couldn't punch it in, which we usually do. So, yeah, we definitely did leave some out there. Just everything. Uh, I feel like we let some mental errors slip today. You know, I, I didn't play my best game today, too. So, you know, um, just going back and remembering the fundamentals we have for our offense, just doing those little things, getting them right, and just getting 1% better every day before our next game.